Hey guys, this is Ant bringing you a Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, this one I'm going to go into interfaces use in C++ and go over where they use and show an example of how I'm using one in, for a top-down shooter. So without further ado, we'll go into it now. So an interface is generally known as something that has functions that can be shared with multiple classes. However, in the sort of abstract sense they can be called contracts as well so rather than a class having its methods and then being called from out elsewhere the interface effectively allows that method to be shared um, between other classes mm -hmm. and when it is called on that class it must perform that action so I'll show you a C++ example now so going into the C++, you can see here that I've created a interact interface. Uh, this is the thing that I'll place on all objects where I want the character to be able to press E and it will make the actor do something or it will make something connected to that actor do something if necessary. So when you create the interface with this method, effectively you're not binding that method to a specific class, you're actually allowing it to be portable so when you interact, put this interface onto an object, so here you can see I've got an interacting object as an example. You can see here that there's a, I'm overriding it and I'm doing an implementation of this. So if I go into that, all that's happening in this case is I'm just printing out something to log to say that this is being used. So some of you might be asking, well, why not just cast to an actor and call the method that way? It pretty much does the same thing. Well, yeah, you can do that, but the problem is you're binding yourself to that particular cast. So you're basically creating a relationship so that if you interact with that particular object, then you can do something. But imagine having to cast two different types of objects. So if you decide to create a light switch, um, a switch for the light, uh, any you know, sky's the limit. A door that you press E to open. When you use the interface, effectively you are removing that method from a specific class and allowing it to be shared across different actors. So in my top-down prototype character, um, it's basically it has an overlap begin, overlap end, bound to the capsule car uh, that's attached to the character. Um, in the player and cook components I've basically bound the actor to the bind action to interact so when it presses E it will use an object which is in this method here but when it overlaps something it checks to see if the other object has the interface now if you notice on the overlap begin binding it's not listening for a specific type of actor it's listening for other actor pointer and it's saying well hang on does this have does this actor use this interface if it's true it'll say yep yeah, it has the interface this is something that can be used so I'm going to set my current usable object to other actor if it leaves that it'll just say okay it stopped it you know, overlapping set it to null so it's not looking for a specific type, it's just looking for actor which can be anything. As long as it's got the interface, this doesn't care. If I press E on my character, it will use that interface interact. So you can see here under use object, it's casting in to see if it's got it. If that interface is not null punt for whatever reason, execute that interact function, which is the current usable object. If I have a look back into interacting object, it should print this um, this log message here to say that this has been used and this is the name. So before we go into demonstration, um, I've just added a little bit more code into my use objects methods. So if you add this interface into a non-specific C++ actor, um, it can, it, sometimes it doesn't actually call the interface. So what I've done is I've added in a book the boolean implement check using the Kismet system library to check if the current usable object has the interface from a sort of static point of view. So if it does, it should call it. 
and the reason why I've done that is if I go into demonstration this interaction object inherits from my C++ interaction object however this sort of second actor object which I've just created using it actor doesn't so it can fall down if you try and call the interface on it now if I quickly just go into these blueprints that one is just setting the material red when it calls the interface and the other one second actor is setting it to blue so this will just go show a bit of flexibility using the interface so if I hit play a character will spawn in just quickly display the output log and you can see here in the logs it's overlapping something interesting with the interface press E turns to red stopped overlapping that go to this other object says that it's got the in of it's overlapping something with the interface press the button and it's turned it to blue so to summarize an interface allows you to share a method over multiple classes so in this example I've just showed you how to turn one object red and one object blue the objects aren't related to each other, they're completely different, they have their own methods, but ultimately they achieve the same thing, um, only they just share a method. Um, obviously that can be used over many things, not just obviously turning colour, but it can be used for lots of different behaviour. Um, all the player has to do is just press E in this example, and the other objects will act on that interface method called by the player. Thank you for watching my video. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to my channel.